mark them all, show on map, we've basically now created a route that you can put onto your Garmin units. So now I'm going to start to rename them. For example, I'm just going to left click twice. I'm going to call this leg two of our trip. Uh, and again, this is a problem that uh, the base camp has got at the moment. If another another route in another folder is called leg two, it will come up with <coughs> it already exists. So I'm going to try and call this. Um, TR2. If I choose that one, I'm going to call this TR1 so for trip one. TR1. This part is our TR4. And this one is our TR3. So now it's a little bit more in order. One, two, three, four. So our final destination is NC for this trip. So I'm going to click the zoom tool and I'm going to go into NC. And like so. Now I want to try and find a hotel in this area. What I can do is press Command F. And then in my advance button, choose lodging and hotel motel search, and then more searches. So I've got a lot of uh, hotels here that I can choose from, but which one? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to my uh, Safari, bookings.com. It's the one I usually use. And I'm just going to type in here Hennessy, France. Dates, yeah. Uh, let's say July. This is just to get some idea. July 13. And if I'm going to stay there three or four days, I'm just going to say search for that. And then I've got a good range of hotels with good range of prices let's say um, on a budget but still would like to choose something you know I've got two star three star hotels <clears throat> So on a high rating, high star, and you know this one just jumps out. Atlas uh, and the sea south, very good. Eight's the highest ratings. It's got a three star. So I'm going to try and click on this. For two people, two hundred thirty-seven euros. <coughs> um, so that looks. Like very good. Let's say I want to order that one. I book it, and then for the three nights, two thirty-seven euros, and then I just see where it is. So it's a little bit away from the lake, but you know it's, it's a cheap hotel and everything. So, Eau de Ox Les Bains. Right. So. Go back to that, zoom into that area. Here I can choose some more detail because I want some like so. And wasn't it up here somewhere? <coughs> there we go. So now I'll go to waypoint, press on the hotel and close that down and basically I open up my day 4 I delete uh, NC3 and 
I would also delete the waypoint in the scene and put the hotel in instead. Like so. So I go into the root again. And I can see that I've got my hotel there. And I can right click on this and see the whole route for that day. Double click. 183 miles. So that's basically how you find a hotel in that specific area. Okay, so now I've just plugged in my Garmin. And I'm just going to remove this, like so. Extend this again. So now I've plugged in my Garmin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all of these. So, and if you look at the maps, You have to see that you've got London, you've got a bit of France, um, actually France and England maps on this. So what I'll do is transfer, send trip to device. I also want the uh, the waypoints, so I'll just do that. Come in 500s. I want to send uh, the tracks, the waypoints. Yeah. Um, and send maps with install map install when I've done that so I'll press send on that communicating transfer complete and now my Garmin map install is installed I'll have to press my unit ID continue and what you, you'll notice here is that I've got a lot of this area, which I'm going to have to take off. But that really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to put them back on again. Because it's taking all these maps that I'm going to need, <coughs> but it can't fit on the actual Garmin unit. So, I need to go back to Advanced Map Building, Transfer, which may take longer. I need to cancel, continue cancelling. And I'm going to have to go to Untitled. And basically, my Untitled here is my SD card, which is 4 gigabytes. So, if I say continue here, It will only transfer these maps and only those maps, like so. You can see you've got a load of uh, plates here, so I tend to fill up a little bit, like so. my area as well. So just under a gig and um, I say send maps. Now this is going to take a long time so I'll just start it up again when it's finished. Press confirm on that. Installing maps preparing data time 2 hours. I'm at 14.28. Let's see how long it takes.
now it's transferring. So again, when it gets there, I'll um, start her up again. So I'm in with with uh, 29 seconds to go. Right, so that's it. So that was the installation process. Uh, the next thing you'll have to do is, and I don't have a screen uh, capture for. Yeah, okay. I don't have a screen capture for the Zumo as yet, but it's actually quite warm. And uh, the first thing it will ask you is new data found. Would you like to manage this data now? You say yes to that. And then you go into Roots, and then you find your TR1, TR2, TR3, TR4, and you press Import. 80%, 90%, so that's it. So, let's see where to, Roots. So, everything works fine on that. There are no uh, errors in importing onto the Garmin. So that was that was it. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, any queries, uh, just uh, write it down below. And um, thank you for listening.